Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. My dear students, here is your mathematics teacher Muhammad Abdul Sayyid from Pakistan International School, Tayyip Saudi Arabia. Today we will continue our lecture number 44. Today we will have chapter number 10. And uh, according to revised review syllabus, we are given theorem number 10.3. The statement of theorem number 10 is two tangents drawn to a circle from a point outside it up to here it is given are equal in length this is to prove two tangents drawn to a circle from a point outside it this is given what is given there is a circle with center at O PA and PB are two tangents from a point P which is outside the circle are equal in length we have to prove that PA is congruent to PB so dear students what is given a circle with center at O two tangents PA and PB are drawn from a point P which is outside the circle so what is to prove PA is congruent to PB? What is given? A circle with center at O. Center at O. PA and PB are two tangents. Drawn from a point P to circle where P is a point outside the circle, outside the circle. What is to prove? To prove is that PA is congruent to PB. Construction is join O to A, O to B, and O to P. Construction is join O to A, O to B and O to P. In this way we can have two right angle triangles. Actually this OA is perpendicular to PA and OB is perpendicular to PB because radial segment is always perpendicular to tangent. This PB is the radius, uh, is the tangent and OB is the radial segment. So a radial segment OB is perpendicular to tangent. Actually this is the de definition of tangent. What is the definition of tangent? A line touching the circle only at one point such that it is always perpendicular to radius of the circle. Tangent is the line touching the circle only at one point such that the tangent is always perpendicular to radius of the circle. So I am using that one. So join O to A, O to P and O to B such that we have to write triangles O A P and O B P. Join O to P O to A and O to B such that two right triangles two right triangles P A B P A P A O and triangle P B O are found. 
Dear students, this is construction. What is given? A circle with center at O, two tangents PA and PB are drawn from a point P which is outside the circle. And what is to prove? PA is component to PB. And construction is join O to A, O to P, and O to B such that we can have two right triangles. P A P O and B P O. This is your construction. After that, we have proof. In case of proof, we will write down statements and reasons. Proof statements and reasons. In the correspondence of triangle, in the correspondence of triangle, PAO and triangle PBO. OA is congruent to OB. Radii of same circle. Radii of same circle. OA is congruent to OB. Radii of same circle. Angle OAP is congruent to angle OBP. Each congruent to 90 degree. Or you can say it is given. Also, OP is congruent to OB common. Therefore, triangle PAO is congruent to triangle PBO. We can say side angle side postulate. Side angle side postulate. Hence, PA is congruent to PB. Corresponding sides, corresponding sides of congruent triangles. Corresponding sides of congruent triangle, we have P is equal to PB. This is your proof of your theorem number 3. Now we are moving to Theorem number 4a. After that we have Theorem 10.4a. So these students uh, in chapter number 10 we are given Theorem number 3, Theorem number 4a and theorem number 4b. So three theorems are given according to revised reduced syllabus in your chapter number 10. And inshallah we will do it. We have theorem number 4a.
For example, two circles with center at D and F, they are touching each other at point C externally. Where CD and CF are the tangents of circle. We have to prove that distance between the centers DF will be equal to sum of the radii. That is DF is equal to DC plus CF. Now dear students, we have given consider two circles with center at D and F they touch each other externally at point C such that DC and CF are the radii of these circles again two circles with centers at D and F they are touching each other externally at point C such that DC and CF are the two radii of the circle respectively. To prove is distance between the center mean DF is equal to sum of the radii, sum of radii mean DC plus CF. So what is to prove? DF is equal to DC plus CF. Or you can say the points D, C, F are collinear. The same meaning. If D, F is equal to D, C plus C, F, it means that D, C, F are collinear. They are lying on the same line. So dear student, first of all, what is given? Two circles with center at B and F touching each other at point C externally such that DC and CF are the radii of the circles to prove is DF is equal to DC plus CF construction is draw a common tangent A, C and B suppose this is common tangent what is construction? Draw a common tangent ACB passing through C. Yes. What is construction? Draw a common tangent ACB passing through C. After that proof, dear students, when I uh, explaining the theorems you must take your books in front of you and listen to me carefully uh, given to prove sometimes construction I am not writing actually the main body of the theorem is proof and you can listen to me carefully so that you can understand the given to prove etc statements and reasons what is Proof Both circles touch externally at point C Both circles touch externally at point C and BC is the radius and ACB is the common tangent Again Both circles touch each other externally Both circles touch each other externally at point C DC is radial segment and ACB is common tangent Remember that I told you about the definition of tangent that tangent is always perpendicular to radius. Therefore, angle ACD 
is equal to 90 degree. Since tangent is perpendicular to radius. Angle ACD is equal to 90 degree. This is number one. Similarly, similarly, CF is the radial segment and ACB is the common tangent. Therefore, angle ACF is equal to 90 degree also. Similarly, CF is the radial segment and ACB is the common tangent. Therefore, this tangent is perpendicular to radius. So, we can say that angle ACF is equal to 90 degree. Number 2. Logic same. Tangent perpendicular to radius. Therefore, angle ACB plus angle ACF is equal to 90 plus 90. So what you will write down? We will write down here angle ACF is equal to 180 degree. Remember that angle ACD, angle ACF will be total angle will be angle ACF or DCF, angle DCF. So this angle DCF is the straight angle is equal to 180 degree. So we conclude, hence points D, C, F are collinear and point C inside D and F. If these points D and F, C is between, C is between D and F, then we can say DF is equal to DC plus CF. This is your theorem. So dear students, we have this theorem number 4A. After that we have theorem number 4B. Dear students, we have theorem number 4b. Its statement is if two circles touch internally, if two circles touch internally. Then point of contact, point of contact, point of contact lies on line segment through centers. And distance between centers, distance between centers is equal to difference of their radii. Dear students, uh, this is 
the case here, what is the statement of term 4B? If two circles touch internally, then the point of contact lies on the line segment through the center and the distance between the centers is equal to difference of the radii. This is actually to prove. Here is, this is a circle with center at D. There is another circle which is touching the circle This is the center F and this is C. Dear students, we have two circles with centers D and F touching internally at point C. What is given? Two circles with centers at D and F touching each other internally at point C and BC and CF are the radii of the two circles what is given? two circles with centers D and F touching each other internally at point C so that DC and CF are the two radii of the circles. That is given. And what is to prove? The distance between the center is equal to difference of the radii. So what is to prove? DF is equal to DC minus CF. Distance between the centers, this distance between the center is equal to difference of the radii. DF is equal to DC minus FC or CF. Same. So distance between difference between distance between the center is equal to difference of the radii. Dear students, and construction is draw a common tangent. At point C as A C B. Construction is draw a common tangent A C B at point C. And proof is statements. And reasons. DC is the radial segment and ACB is the common tangent. Same logic, exactly the same logic, just like the previous theorem. Again, two circles touch each other internally at point C. DC is the radial segment and ACB is the Tangent to circle, both circles touch internally at point C. DC is radial segment and ACB is common tangent. Common tangent. Therefore, angle ACD is equal to 90 degree. Therefore, angle, angle ACD is equal to 90 degree. Similarly, similarly, FC is the radial segment and ACB is common tangent. Similarly, FC 
is radial segment and ACB is common tangent. So we can see that if ACB is common tangent, definitely the angle ACF is also equal to 90 degree. Therefore, angle ACF is equal to 90 degree.